Hi everyone, so we have another embellishment box swap entry. This comes from Pretty Bee 30 So she sent me a little thank you gift that's so sweet. We'll open that up right now. And then here are her entries. I like how this one is used in, you know, a different way. It's, you know, vertical instead of horizontal. So that is such a cute idea. I love that idea. And then, of course, I love the little bee. And then we f I feel like we have Disney vibes up here with the yellow, red, and black. And then I wanted to share this one. I thought it was so unique. She took, like, puffy paint and just traced the flower. And um, you can see on this green and a little bit of blue and right here and then some yellow. Oh, my gosh. I'm obsessed. That is such a good idea. Love that. So let's go ahead and open one up oh and i wanted to show the card she sent because it was just gorgeous look at that gold foiling is just so pretty i love it so um let's open my little gift here thank you so much that was so nice of you to send me a little hosting gift that's so sweet oh my gosh i every time i see this in person i always say i need to buy some um, this is the seam binding that is sold on Etsy. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I need to get some. And then look at how pretty. I made some of these flowers last year and I completely forgot about them. So I totally need to bring that back. So I don't know how she made hers, but with mine, I bought Dollar Tree flowers. I took them apart and then I just layered them together and then... This is a ribbon, um, like ribbon finding, ribbon, ribbon crimp thing, and then just some beads. So that's so cute. Oh, look, and here's one of the bulb clothespins. I love those. A little thank you. I love this jar. I don't know where it's from, but it spirals and reminds me of like a unicorn horn. That is really pretty. I don't know where that came from, but that is, I love it. And we just have little flowers tucked into here. Oh my gosh, there's so many flowers in here. Look at this gold one. Ooh, this has like a texture to it. Not sure what this is. Was this paper and then just painted gold that it gave it that kind of a texture? Possibly. And we have blue. And we have silver. And we have another gold and then there are some more flowers down in there that go all the way down to the bottom and looks like a couple rosettes at the bottom as well and a couple of little bling pieces oh my gosh this is pretty i kind of want to leave it just as it is and just have it out for a display so i think i'm gonna leave it like that for a while and then maybe eventually i'll break into it but yeah, I think I'm just going to put this up on the shelf just for, like, pretty decoration. Because, look, there's even, like, two different flowers in here that look like little rosebuds. That's beautiful. I love that. Thank you so, so much. So, let's go ahead and open one of these boxes on up and see what we have here. So, I think this might be her information tag uh let's see so it has her address on there so i'm not going to show the back but she is pretty pink b30 on youtube on on instagram oh she's a july baby like me she's july 24th um she likes crafting reading watching movies dancing her favorite colors are pink purple black and pastels and look at her card that's beautiful so this looks like embossed vellum and then painted in the background and then we have two stickers and a die cut. That is so pretty. And then up here, her eyelet looks like a flower. It has like little petals to it. That's really, really pretty. And then here is the cover. Again, super gorgeous. And then she made like a frame and then puffed it up on foam tape. That is really, really pretty. And on the inside here, we have... Just some beautiful floral paper, some really, really pretty little gold flowers. Oh my gosh, like right on top. That's beautiful. Look at that. Little strip of flowers and bling. That's so pretty. 
and back over here my gosh there are a ton of these there are so many of these flowers. These are amazing. This green one, you can actually use it like the leaves. That would be really pretty. And then put like another bead on top. That would be really nice. But then there's these blue ones that are just really, really gorgeous. So that's in there. Over here, we have some bling little stones right here. That's a really pretty blue. You can add these if you're doing like a larger shaker card. I've done that before where I used these bigger blinks for that or when I've done like 3d and shadow box projects I've used these bigger blinks for that as well and then back over here we have some beads oh look at there's a little charm a little birdie and then we have little stars yeah, and then there's just like little um charms hiding in here how cute is that I feel like they're like little hidden treasures Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. That's so cool. I feel like it's like hide and seek in there. Like dig through the beads to find the charms. That's so cute. And we have some rhinestone and some sequence beads. And then we have some pearls in there as well. And yeah, that's pretty much the beads back there. And then in this front one, oh yeah, that like gives me like Maggie Holmes, um, what is that, garden party vibes? Oh, there's a lot of little flatbacks in here, some florals. Oh, this is a nice little mix. I like that. Oh, there's some stars in here as well. Look, and then everybody's finding these huge pearl roses. How did I not know these were a thing? Oh, look, there's two different sizes. Yeah, I had no idea about these, but so many have been sending them in. I'm so happy to see those. And then a little star right here. You can glue this down as an embellishment or add a jump ring and add it to a chunky charm. And then there's some flat backs in there. And I'll just show you. In there, that's what's left. There's the beads there. There's a little up close of everything that we have in here. And then in this one is full stuff to the max of flowers. All ribbon flowers, all so, so pretty. And in this one, we have some bling. Really, really pretty. I'm not sure if you can tell, but right on the edge of each petal, it's gold. That's really, really pretty. And then in here we have some bunny and are these butterfly or dragonfly erasers, a little froggy. You can put a head pin in these and turn them into little charms. So that's in that one. Oh, these are big beads. Oh, these would be really nice to use for pokey tools because these look large enough for that. Oh, I love this. They're like a bunch of like wine colored beads right here. And these are two toned, maybe three. So like a little bit darker than a red and then a green. I don't know. It makes me think of watermelon. <laughs> like this one definitely makes me think of watermelon. It's got like green and red to it. Those are pretty. I haven't seen those before. Those are really nice. I like those. And let's see. In this one, we have a rolled flower. And we have some more of these ribbon flowers. These are really nice. If you have the leaf ribbon from Hobby Lobby, you can like lay that out to do a border and then put these flowers on top of it. It looks so, so cute. Oh, I like these flowers. I don't have any of those. So those are really pretty. Those look like closed rosebuds. Those are really pretty. So that's in that pocket. Then over here, it looks like a lot of 3D stickers and like epoxy stickers and puffy stickers. Oh, there's something else different on the bottom. Oh, look, there's that ribbon that I was just talking about. So this is the leaf ribbon right here. Let me get that out so I can show you guys. So this is the leaf ribbon right here that I was just talking about. They sell this at Hobby Lobby. It comes in silver, gold, green, and pink, I believe. 
possibly white if I remember correctly. So you can like put this as the trim on to anything like a tag or anything and then if you take these little rolled flowers you lay it on top so it looks like it's all part that should go together. I think that'd be really, really cute to go ahead and put that together like that. So that's awesome that that's in this box already. So that's in that pocket there. And then over here, we have a little rosette. And then there are those gorgeous, gorgeous gold flowers in glitter and gold. Those are really pretty. I love those. I love how shiny these are too. And it's a good glitter that doesn't, you know, like shed everywhere and make a mess. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining my swap. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for my little beautiful tube of gorgeousness. I've never seen this. And like I said, I want to put this out on display. And thank you to everybody that is watching. This swap is open to everyone and it runs through the end of May. If you would like more information on how to join, it is in the description box down below. I do have a video. So thank you guys so much. Hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you later. Bye guys.